Johnny Mosley here with Peter Glenn, Ski and Sport, hanging out with like the coolest dude in the industry, a legend of freestyle skiing, Mike Hatrip. Um, Mike, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, we, we go way back to when I was a little Grom and you were at yeah. the top of the game in, uh, in, in freestyle skiing back in Squaw. But you, you told me what you were. You had a hot dog cart. I didn't even know that. A pretzel cart. Pretzel, it was a pretzel cart? cart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and we knew your older brother. We, yeah. We, we nicknamed him Sliverhead. That's so he funny. Had, you remember that? Because I remember the crew cut. Right. And, right. Uh, right. That's funny. You nicknamed him Sliverhead. Yep, yeah. Because they yep. were like Team Sliverhead. He and exactly. his buddy Ian Wilbur. Yeah. Dude, that's you got it. That's so cool. Well, and then of course you went on and became, you know, a big time dude. Of course, Blizzard of Oz is like this seminal work and. Um, but before we get to that, because I want to talk about Blizzard Boss yeah. and the reunion and all that, um, after after your freestyle career, which you were on the World Cup for, I don't know, how many well, years? And no, I was on the World stuff. Cup for one contest. I tore my ACL oh, before, is that what happened? before Placid. Oh, okay. And got a brace and went and competed at Placid and then tore okay. meniscus. Over. Oh, geez, that was what happened? I, so I, I had a spot on the team for two years, but I probably had the shortest World Cup <laughs> experience of anybody. Okay, yeah. and then where did you go? Then and you then, went and started And filming. then I went, yeah, the, yeah. well, the, 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 the second, the would-be second year on the team for me, Yeah. I got an opportunity to go to Chamonix and shoot Blizzard of Oz. Oh, so that was right in so the, that, that was wasn't right like there, and it's like, Okay, go ski rock hard moguls with the fresh ACL or go to Chamonix and ski powder with so that and, then, and, and that was Glenn Plake and Schmidt and you know Greg obviously yeah. and 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 you in Chamonix in that awesome segment. Uh, yeah. I mean the whole movie, really. And then did you think that movie would become like what it's become? No, God no. <laughs> uh, you know, we'd done a few movies before then, and and this we knew was better at least from the footage yeah. we shot. But yeah. you never know how it's going to be put together. Yeah, sure, sure. And. Uh, and I certainly didn't think we'd be talking about it 30 years later. Right, right. That's for sure. Right, exactly. And we'll, and we'll get to that. But the one thing I wanted to uh, just touch on real briefly is that then you became like the lead designer at K2, or how did you end up working in the Yeah, industry? so I went straight from Blizzard of Oz to, to working at K2. And oh, I, I, I wasn't the designer, I'm not an engineer, but I worked yeah. with the design team and, okay. and have, you know, until I came here to Fisher. Okay, cool. And so then you transitioned in, into Fisher, and and I know you do a lot of backcountry stuff. Was that something you were always passionate about, or no? Blizzard of Oz really opened my eyes to that oh, because before Chamonix, I was a mogul skier, yeah. a ski resort mogul skier. I'd never had a beacon on. I'd never gone out of bounds. Oh, cool. So Chamonix opened my eyes to that. Yeah. But Chamonix, you know how raw and fierce it is. Yeah. It's intimidating. Yeah. And I knew I had no business being in the backcountry without a guide. Right. Um, and so that was really what started my education and, yeah. and the, the, eventually becoming a, a ski guide. And yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. And then uh, now at Fisher, are you kind of working just on the backcountry stuff or uh, throughout all the whole? The no, whole I, I work on all the Alpine stuff. Oh, and right so on. I work with the Austrians to develop the line. And the cool thing is the Austrians have been really receptive to US feedback yeah you know they're not asking for us for for the help on designing the race skis I got enough World Cup the next sure. World Cup guys over there but yeah for the stuff that matters to our market the all mountain skis the free ride skis yeah they're saying what do you want to do with it so we we revamped the whole collection oh, cool. uh, to, to really North American standards so all right it's yeah. been cool yeah I mean I've, I've been a big fan of the Fisher vacuum boot uh, I skied the curve which I love yeah. And I, I see now you actually have a mobile ski, which yes. is cool, the gun yes. barrel. Which, which <laughs> killed Plake. So, because Plake loves gun barrel, right? Yeah. That's the best mogul run oh, in the world Oh, you guys think the name And we were sitting here last year, yeah. and we were talking Berkowitz Eye and yeah. Plake, yeah. and the gun barrel's behind it, and Plake's like, wait, is that a mogul ski? <laughs> and so he was both really stoked that somebody used the name gun barrel, yeah. and really pissed because it wasn't him. Right, that's so. funny. And, and for, for everyone at home that uh, doesn't know, Gun Barrel is one of the most famous mobile runs in the world. It's the main run under the tram at Heavenly in South Lake Tahoe in California. And if you can make it from the top to the bottom, you're a man. I mean, it's it's and a it's, lot of moguls. And, and it's, it's, it's moguls from the top. I mean, you get off the chair and you yeah. start skiing moguls. There's yeah. no flat 
place to warm. It's boom, oh, boom, yeah. right from the start. It's, it's classic. All the way to the bottom. All right, speaking of Flake, speaking of Vogels, uh, speaking of Blizzard of Oz, the 30th anniversary of Blizzard of Oz is coming up. And yeah. Uh, yeah, that also is during the Peter Glenn demo trip in Squaw Valley, April 10th of this year. We're gonna do a special showing of the 30th anniversary edition of Wizard of Oz. Of course, Greg Stump's like, you know, seminal work starring Mike Hatra, Scott Schmidt, and Glenn Flake. Glenn Flake and Scott Schmidt are coming. Hatra, we're trying to get to come. Uh, <laughs> I'm really close. Hopefully we'll get I'm him out there. Yeah. And, uh, but, but I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna uh, uh, host a panel, we'll talk to everyone, and we'll ski a little bit with everyone. Uh, I really encourage you to sign up now to come. Go to peterglenn.com and sign up for the Peter Glenn demo trip. In addition to seeing the movie and talking to all these guys, you get to try out all of next year's gear, skis, clothes. It's a really great time. I uh, highly recommend you uh, coming. Patrick, hopefully we'll see you there. Hopefully. Uh, if, <laughs> if, if I can make it, it'll be the first time that all of us have been together. Oh, man. And I don't know, at least 20 years. That's amazing. So we got to get it hopefully done. Hopefully we make it. We got to get it done. All right, hey, thanks for listening. Johnny Mosley for Peter Glenn Ski and Sport. Yeah.